Let's take a look at the new content tab in Desire to Learn version 10 and just highlight some of the differences from the old version. So the first thing you'll notice is at the top here we have the ability to search for content by keyword. Well, it's just as easy as doing a quick search and anything that matches your keyword is going to pop up for easy access. The next new area is the course overview. This is optional. You may or may not see it in your class. It's just an area where the instructor can provide a general information page about the course. And again, not every class will have that as it is optional. The next new item is bookmarks. And you'll see when we actually access a piece of content, you have the ability to bookmark any piece of content in the class so you can easily go back to it and get at it later. Now when we actually access a piece of content, you'll notice that it takes up much, much more of the screen real estate than it did in the old version of desire to learn which is going to be really nice if you're accessing your class on a mobile device or if you just have less screen real estate to go around. Not everyone has two widescreen monitors on their desk at home. The actual content tree that normally lives over here in Desire to Learn is replaced with this breadcrumb trail so we can go back and look at the module. The other new additions here is this bookmark feature I was talking about. It's as easy as just giving that a click to add or remove a bookmark. So one last feature I would like to point out when we're actually looking in the content tree area is that Desire to Learn now provides this progress bar. And when I'm in the table of contents area, this is going to be for the entire class. But if I come back to, say, module one, you can see now the progress bar is reflecting my progress just through module one, one out of four topics. I've made this discussion post and so I get credit for one of the four topics or 25 percent. When I come back to the actual content, table of contents, the progress bar, bar reflects my progress through the entire class, two out of 24 topics. And there's also now a print icon that makes it easier to print off your materials for offline use.